Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorWart. So in this topic, we will walk through the process of creating a new WinUI 3 project in Visual Studio and then build a simple app to display photos. We will use controls, layout panels and data bindings. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do subscribe to my channel, it means a lot. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the step one here is to install tools for Windows app SDK. To set up your development environment, you will need to follow a set of instructions to in install this tool. And I have created just a video uh, similar to this. And you will find it in my ongoing WinUI C3 series uh, titled Create Your First WinUI 3 Project. Moving ahead, so the step two. So the step two is to create a new project. So in Visual Studio, create a blank app packaged project template use that and if you do not find it in your recent templates you can search it and click on next name the project simple photos and so that you your photo structure will match with the one i am describing in this tutorial uncheck the place solution in and project in the same directory step three copy asset files the app that you will be building carries image files around with it in the form of asset files and those are the photos that it displays. In the section you will be adding those assets to your project but first you will need to obtain a copy of those files. So clone the uh, github repository that I have uh, shared in the description as a link. You can download that repository and go to it. Uh, in the project files and uh, there in the asset folder you will file the samples folder copy that and uh, keep it handy now as a step three go to the solution explorer in visual studio right click the assets folder and click open folder in file explorer that opens the asset folder in file explorer paste the samples folder that you had copied from my uh, github repository files step 4 add a grid view control to add a grid view control what we have to do is our, our app needs to display rows and columns of photos in other words a grid of images for a ui like that the main controls to use are list view and grid view so first let's open main window.xaml Currently that there's a window element and within that a stack panel layout panel inside the stack panel is a button control which is hooked up to an event handler method. The main window of any app represents the view that you see first when you run the app. In the app you will be building the main windows job is to load the photos from samples folder and to display a tiled view of those images together with various info about them. So replace the stack panel and button markup with the grid layout panel and the grid view control like here. Open window uh, main window.xaml.cs and delete the my button underscore click method. You can now build and run but the window will be empty at this stage. For the grid view control to show anything we need to give it a collection of objects to show and we will make a start on that next. Step five, the image file info model. In this section, we'll be adding to our project a new class called image file info. Image file info will be a model of an image file such as a photo. This section will take us a step closer to being able to display photos in the app's user interface. So right click on the project node simple photos and click add new item and replace the cunt and set the name of the uh, of the file as image file info dot cs. Replace the contents of image file info dot cs with the code listed below. So here you will see uh, there are, we have included some of the namespaces for uh, imaging, component model, file properties, and streams. You'll also notice that we are making use of the iNotify property change interface. 
and uh, in the constructor of the image file info class we are setting the the various properties of this image like file type file image image uh, image file ratings and uh, also the image name and uh, etc and apart from that you will have you can see that uh, we are creating other properties like image file image properties and then we have tasks asynchronous task to get image source and to get image thumbnails next we will just uh, simply save and close this uh, image file info dot cs step 6 step 6 is to define and populate a property for a collection of images in this section we will add a new property to the main window class the property named images will be a collection class that contains the images that we want to display define the property like this in the main window.xaml.cs we will include the namespace system.collections.objectmodel and next uh, we will create a property of type image file info that we just created the property named images will be a collection class that contains the images that we want to display The code to populate the new collection property with images is shown in the get items async and load image info async methods. So paste the using directive and the two method implementations into the main window.xaml.cs file. The last thing that we need to do in this section is to update the constructor of the main window to call get items async. You can uh, build and run now if you like to confirm you have followed the steps okay but there is not much to see in the window at this stage. That's because what we have done so far is to ask the grid view to render a collection of objects of type image file info and the grid view does not quite know how to do that yet. Remember that the images property is an observable collection of image file info objects and that last line of the get items async tells the grid view that the source of its items is the images property and the job of the grid view is then to display those images but we haven't yet told the grid view anything about the image file info class so the best it can do so far is to display the string value of each image file info objects in the collection and by default that is just types name in the next section, we'll create a data template to define how we want an image file info objects to be displayed. Step 7. Add a data template. To begin with, let's use a sketch-like placeholder data template that will serve until we are done exploring some layout options. After that, we can update the data template to show the actual photos. Open the main window.xaml. and change the content of the window so that they look like this markup. To the layout route, we have added a simple data template resource and given it a key of image grid view underscore item template. And we have used the same key to set the item template of the grid view. Item controls such as grid view have an item template property, the item source property that we saw earlier. An item template is a data template and it is used for displaying each items in the collection. Now we can take a few edit passes over the data template, adding to and editing the elements inside it to make it more interesting and useful. 
we will give the root element or the grid a height and a width of 300 and a margin of 8 then we will add two row definitions and set the height of the second row definition to auto you can see the code on the screen now we want the data template to display each photo's image name file type dimension and rating so we will be adding respectively an image control some text block controls and a rating control we will lay out the text inside stack panel layout panels the image will initially display the project sketch like microsoft store logo as a placeholder after all those edits here's how the data template should look like Build the project now and run the app to see the grid view control with the item template that you just created. Next, we will take a look at how the items are laid out. We will change some brushes and we'll add spaces between the items. Edit the item container style is step eight. Another concept related to item control such as grid view is the item container. An item container is a content control that displays an item as a value of its content property. An item control creates and many items containers as it needs its in order to display the items that are visible on the screen at any time. Being a control, an item control has a style and control template. Its style and control template determine how, it, how the item control con containers look in its various states and uh, as we have seen the item template determines how the item itself looks so in this section we'll focus on designing the item container style and for that we'll be creating a style resource for grid view and then setting that as item containers of the grid view in the style we set the background and margin property of the item container to give it a gray background and a bit of margin around the outside of it. In main window.xml, add a new style resource to the same grid view resource XML element that we put the data template into. Here's the code and how it should look like. Next, we use the image grid view underscore item container style key. So this key uh, is used to set the item container style of the grid view. Build and run the app and see how it looks now. As you resize the window, the grid view control takes care of rearranging the items to best fit into this space. Step nine. Step nine is to edit the item panel template. Item controls lay out their item containers inside what's known as an item panel. We can define what kind of panel is used and set properties on that panel by editing the grid views item panel template. So that's what we'll do in this section. In main window.xaml, add an item panel template resource to our resource dictionary. The item panel is of type items wrap grid and we are setting its horizontal alignment property to center. Next, we use the item grid view underscore item panel template key to set the item panel of the grid. So when you build and run this time, and experiment with adjusting the width of the window. There is an equal amount of uh, grid views uh, background on either side of the image. And because the grid view fills the window, the scroll bar aligns nicely with the edges of the window where users might expect it to be.
step 11 replace the placeholder image with a photo now it's time to move our sketch to a higher level and that means replacing the placeholder image with the real ones and replacing the uh, placeholder text with real data let's take care of the images first in the main window dot xaml dot uh, cs file add a new method to the main window named image grid view underscore container content changing this is an event handling method and the event it handles is container content changing we also need to provide the implementation of the show image method that image grid view underscore content container content uh, changing depends on paste the using directive and the two methods implementation into the main window dot xml dot cs this you will find again in the uh, github uh, code next then we in the main window.xml register the image grid view underscore container content changing event handler with the grid views container content changing event step 11 replace the placeholder text with real data in this section we will use one time data binding a one time binding is great for data that does not change at runtime and that means that one time bindings are high performance and easy to create in main window.xml find the image grid view underscore item template data template resource we are going to tell the data template that the job is to uh, to be a template for the image file info class which you will recall is the type of the items that our grid view is displaying to do that add an x colon data type value to the template like this now that we have set an x data type we can use by x colon bind data binding expression in the data template to bind the properties of the data type we specified in this case image file info in the data template find the first text block element that the one with the uh, which is uh, which uh, text currently set to image title replace its text value as shown here an x bind expression links the value of an ui property with the value of data object property of course that depends on first setting x data type to the type of data object so that the tooling and the runtime know what properties are available to bind to in the same way replace the values of other text blocks and the rating control and here's how it should look like So if you build and run the app now, instead of placeholders, you will see real photos and real text and other data. Visually and functionally, this simple little app is now complete. So hope you all liked watching this video. In conclusion, in this tutorial, we walked through the process of using Visual Studio to build a simple WinUI 3 app that displays photos. Hopefully, this tutorial has given you experience working in WinUI 3 app with controls, layout panels, data binding and grid view UI optimization. Thank you. Bye-bye.